السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ladies and gentlemen let's continue our tutorials about uh, Autodesk Revit Map in this video we're gonna complete our uh, Revit project uh, we're gonna complete uh, piping design uh, so the last the previous video we uh, showed an introduction to uh, the piping uh, system in uh, Revit the settings and uh, these kind of things in this video we're gonna talk about our real project so how to uh, size the piping uh, or draw it in Revit so let's open our analysis program to know our ton refrigerant or the cooling load the total cooling load for our building for our Iran unit to know the chillers capacity okay here is our building okay we have 29 spaces and two systems corridors and shopping zones so suppose that we uh, will uh, we want to provide uh, the ton refrigerant the total ton refrigerant for those for all of them so I'm gonna increase this to 32 components and here 30 I'm gonna use corridor 1 yes next corridor 2 next add ok so we have here 32 zones add next 3 2 1 let's click ok and now we have all the zones uh, just print view design yes. preview to know the capacity of the chillers so the grill size every uh, TR uh, has uh, the required uh, GPM but it's according to the uh, temperature difference. So we see here uh, something like this 2.4 GPM per ton uh, refrigerant at delta T equal 9 Fahrenheit. But it's 2.67 GPM per ton uh, refrigerant if delta T equal 9 Fahrenheit. So here is 72.1 tons so if we multiply it 72.1 by 2.67 we're go we have here 192.24 why is water flow at 9 Fahrenheit rise so this is the GBM total GBM uh, that's required and here is the capacity 72.1 so let's convert okay here the flow GPM gallon per minute one nine two point twenty four liter per second liter per second 12 by 12 equal to 12.12 okay let's close this and click on view preferences make it metric go to systems sized okay I'm gonna check it out again We're doing this to uh, know the total capacity of 
bachelors and please you must go to youtube and uh, check out my uh, previous tutorials okay English sorry. design okay okay you have must please uh, recommend I uh, highly recommend to uh, watch uh, this uh, tutorial I, I uh, we have talked about uh, the details of piping uh, design using pipe flow wizard just to uh, size your uh, to find the diameter and the internal roughness pipe material steel stainless steel uh, and the diameter of the pipe we uh, we covered this in that tutorial and uh, it's metric it's gonna be okay it's gonna be one meter and i talked about these uh, things uh, to get the piping diameters okay According to the GBM 12 by 12, uh, and then the branches A, B, C, D, and uh, the pump uh, here in the internal diameter and the nominal diameter, and the, here the velocity uh, and the ranges. Okay, you know, uh, we talked about uh, these things and the pressure drop and uh, the length, and here the uh, fraction okay here is the length of uh, the pipe but in the uh, layout okay but when you use it you have to uh, make it one here one meter for all uh, the sections to get the pressure drop per one meter I talked about this in details in that tutorial okay uh, but after this uh, when we uh, want to calculate the pressure drop for the worst path uh, only for the worst path you have to uh, set the real or uh, the total uh, length okay so, so please check it out uh, check out this tutorial to know what's going on before uh, continuing watching this current tutorial so after finishing the piping here we have uh, all the uh, things we need so we have here the pumps okay so before this we have here 12 by 13 okay no problem and here is the total current coil 253.4 divided divided by 2 uh, or you can get uh, one chiller that uh, is uh, that can uh, provide you with this total capacity suppose that you uh, wanna to chiller so uh, every chiller were, uh, will give you one uh, 126.7 kilowatts so you get here uh, one two chillers and, uh, and here you have to get the range that you can cover uh, can cover uh, your capacity okay and here is the other chiller two chillers can give you can give you uh, what you want so and here is the toggle okay thanks Heb okay I'm not I'm gonna use it again so after uh, getting section A, so let's take a look. Here are the uh, pumps. Okay, so this is another uh, layout. I'm gonna use it. Here are the uh, pumps. Uh, you may use uh, one standby I2 in the service. 
supply and return. So here the supply to the chillers, then the chillers to chillers, and here you get the uh, total GPM, and then this total GPM is uh, divided and uh, are used for each for each air handling unit. You we you will use a specific GPM according to the ton refrigerant of each single uh, AHU. Okay, and then you have the return uh, to the uh, pumps, and then it uh, it enters again the chillers and so on. Okay, so you have to uh, know the total ton refrigerant to uh, select the uh, chillers. Also, you have to watch the tutorial of selecting the equipment to know uh, how to use the chillers okay selecting the equipment okay well here equipment Selection, I've talked about uh, how to select the uh, chillers or the uh, equipment in details and cooling coils and condenser in kilowatts and many things. So please, you must uh, watch it again. After uh, this, because it is not easy to uh, just select the uh, chiller uh, by what, what I did uh, two minutes ago, just uh, a random selection that covers your needs. So uh, 1 to 6.7 kilowatts uh, just from a hab and you have to check out uh, many, uh, many ways until you get the real uh, kilowatts that you can, that you want to need, okay? So what does this uh, tutorial just uh, we use this uh, chiller just for uh, drawing that's all okay but this is not recommended I recommend watching the uh, methods okay so here is the uh, pumps in AutoCAD we have here uh, the pumps and three pumps and you have to uh, know the uh, required valves and strainers. Let's check it out here. Okay, the fan coil. We're gonna talk about the fan coil in the next tutorial. Okay, we are here. We have here the air handling uh, unit, like this supply and return and here you must know uh, the function of each valve okay we have here the air vent to be sure that uh, there is no any air uh, or there's no air in this uh, system and the temperature sensor and the pressure gauge to know the pressure values and to get the delta p and also three-way valves the balancing valve and the gate valve and flushing connection uh, this is very important uh, because the contractor uh, will uh, use these uh, things uh, to run it for the first time to be sure that there is no any uh, problems uh, inside the pipes so pipes are clean okay we have here must know few things so, sorry. so the two types of the three-way valves using the HVAC industry, mixing valves and diverting uh, valves in order to prevent in, any misunderstanding due to the terminology, we'll consider mixing valves to have two inlets like this and like this. So one, two, and one outlet. Okay. Then uh, to have two inlets, mixing valves to have two inlets and one outlet, and diverting valves to have one inlet and two outlets. 
Okay, you can check it out uh, these things. Please read, uh, read them carefully to know what's going on. You must know uh, how to select the valves and their function. Also, the balancing valves and let's continue here. The importance of the balancing valves. You may know uh, that the balancing valves are necessary for a properly uh, working chilled water system. Uh, balancing valves uh, serve many critical functions for free. For these applications and the reasons uh, are multiple. So let's take a look what happens when the system does not have correct hydronic balancing. An unbalanced uh, system cannot meet its specific cooling load. Occupant comfort is therefore not achieved. In an uh, unbalanced uh, system, remote circuits do not meet required design flow. In an unbalanced system, uh, the flow at individual coils will not be uh, to design, decreasing chiller performance by creating a low delta T condition. So, uh, you must uh, read these things carefully, okay, to be a good uh, HVAC engineer. Also, the gate valve are widely used for all types of applications and are suitable for both above ground uh, and underground uh, installation, not least for underground installations, it is uh, paramount to choose the right type of valve to avoid higher placement costs. So, these valves can use for a vast number of fluids, and uh, many things are used when minimum pressure loss and free bore is needed. Okay. So, this is gate valve, and here is the globe valve. Uh, they have excellent and precise throttling ability for high pressure systems. So, the disadvantages include low flow coefficients and a longer operating time because the operator must turn the handle and stem many times to ensure the valve is completely open and completely closed. Okay. Another is a globe valve different uh, from a uh, ball valve. It's a type of valve used in regulating flow in pipeline. And also we have here the expansion tank. Handling on it. You see here, see the whole system. We see here the uh, expansion tank, and so it's expansion tanks are required in a closed loop heating or chilled water HVAC system to absorb the expanding fluid and limit the pressure within uh, a heating or cooling uh, system. A properly sized tank will accommodate the expansion of the system fluid during the heating or cooling cycle without allowing the system to exceed critical pressure limits. The expansion tank uses compressed air. To maintain system pressures by accepting the uh, and expelling the changing volume of water as it heats and cools. So uh, this is the expansion tank, as you see here, and then we have three pumps and three piping uh, lines. Uh, here the closed and uh, here please the uh, valves. And uh, it's like the uh, gate valve, or as you see here, okay. Uh, here, like the gate valves, everything is like this. So, we have here gate valve, and the strainer, and the pressure gauge, and here the flexible connection to. Uh, decrease the vibrations or to avoid the vibrations from uh, transferring uh, to the chillers or the devices and here the non-return valves and the pressure uh, sensors and many things okay find it here Trainer and the air vent. The air vent is uh, in the air handling unit cycle. Okay, and on the balancing uh, valve. Uh, 
and the same thing will be here and all of course we have uh, temperature sensor sensors but for the here the chillers also pressure gauges and strainers and these things okay so these thing, things are very important to uh, to measure the pressure and the temperature and to make the circulation going and to control the flow and the performance of the system okay and there are many things for the safety of, of course uh, electronics and many things like this okay so here from the piping from the pumps we have here the total for each line of the pump we have uh, its GPM okay and the diameter according to the calculations and here section is the total GPM as we see and then we have the branches for the chillers we have two chillers so we have uh, the GBM for each chiller uh, for the supply and the return and then here we see this is the total in F the total again to the air handling unit okay for this is the supply and then uh, the return the total and of course the G will have the total okay and that's it and this is keep the recirculation going uh, then after this we have to uh, determine the uh, worst path uh, the many uh, fittings and many uh, number of valves and uh, uh, maybe the longest uh, path uh, by more than 50% is the uh, longest path then uh, calculate the pressure drop of the worst path uh, like we showed in the uh, tutorials, the previous tutorials and then the pressure drop of the chiller and the cooling coil and any uh, other pressure drop and then um, uh, add them to each other to get the total to know what is the required pump head okay, to we'll know what is the required pump head okay so the GPM here uh, for each pipe is 404 uh, and here the uh, diameter is 2.5 inch, inches okay on 62 is the internal diameter so the pipe of the uh, pump so now we got so let's get to uh, work in Revit just go to systems and here the mechanical equipment okay load family go to mechanical map other side chillers and you'll find many kind of chillers okay you have to know uh, each type of them screw chiller, uh, helicopter centrifugal liquid chiller, and so on. Uh, also, now we want the pumps, so we get to mechanical, map, water, pumps, and we can get centrifugal pump. And the line pumps and many kind of pumps should open. Okay. Okay, we do not see it, so make it the offset three thousand. Okay, so here is our pump. Suppose we We'll make it here. We have three pumps. And of course, you uh, must know the distance between any uh, device and the other uh, device. But just for this tutorial, I'm gonna 
uh, not go uh, further for in these details. Okay, so let's see how to connect this loop. We have here three pumps. Okay, two chillers and one air handling unit. Of course, here uh, in carrier, you will find many uh, things about the valves and uh, the f their function and their installation and their design. And of course, uh, YouTube, uh, you will find uh, many videos uh, covering these kind of things. So we have here the uh, valve losses, equivalent feet or pipe. Okay, so you have to know these uh, details as a beginner and uh, with time you will uh, be an expert okay i'm very sure of this so okay so here we know that uh, the fluorite uh, 6 one zero seven GPM for the chiller uh, supply and return. So we want a three inch in diameter. Okay, notice that if you have here in and out. Okay, this is the outlet of the chiller. Let's no. Uh, let's check out. Uh, we'll find here it's four inches. Make it three, and see. What will happen? Okay, when in Raven couldn't find a matching pipe segment in pipe type standard, please check the routing preferences in pipe types standard. So this is uh, maybe you can you can, you may accept this or you can uh, get your three inches. Okay, or you can change this. This is this is four. Okay, just control Z to avoid this problem. So uh, there is uh, something you may uh, use. We go to uh, segments and sizes, like we said in the previous tutorial. You can add a new material or schedule. Or material schedule type and uh, also you can change the these uh, values according to you uh, the sizes that are available in the catalog of or the provider okay then you can click OK and after this you can click on pipe and at the type you can rename it or duplicate it and then you can uh, select the routing preferences and here you can choose your new uh, schedule or your new material okay so uh, it will be very helpful for, help, uh, helpful for you if you don't want to uh, use the uh, standards or the recommendations or the default of Revit and here the minimum size uh, that will appear uh, here also can uh, use the minimum size that uh, will appear here and here are the maximum size of the uh, also for this uh, menu uh, also here the steel carbon you can uh, change it uh, also here for the elbows uh, you can uh, choose uh, your uh, recommended elbow just uh, default and here for the other type and here for the T okay T or tab we prefer junction type this is the default and the junction also and here you can uh, see uh, if you do not have uh, many choices I think that you can load it from family okay here load family yes and you can edit uh, or add uh, like exactly what we did in the ducts so we will find many choices and also here for the cross 
maximum minimum size and maximum size and the union and so on okay and here are the segments and sizes okay you can open it from here okay so this is uh, something that I had to tell you uh, also you may uh, so now this is four inches and we only want a three inches so if you want to make the three inches you will have to uh, have here a reducer and the reducer that has a pressure drop so you may don't want to do this so what we have to do now there is another choice 315 by 16 you can edit the type and the change this chilled water supply diameter chilled water return radius okay you make it three inches and here is three inches so what will what's going to happen now oh so as we want but it's preferred to uh, know this information this information from the catalog or the provider to uh, not change anything uh, or do anything wrong okay let's make this 90 degrees okay now move it here okay not that uh, it will be changed is it change it automatically three inches so now we do not have any problem for the chillers now we have here the pumps okay now we wanna draw this uh, for the pumps we have here the pipeline is 62.7 uh, or 2.5 inches so let's take a look on the pump the pump here is 2 uh, inches and we want a 2.5 okay so we make 2.5 let's see what will happen okay the same problem so control z and go here so this is the centrifugal so make it edit you will find here another the other information okay open this and edit type we want a 2.5 inches as a diameter so is the discharge nominal uh, radius and this is charge nominal diameter it's going to be 2.5 why this is the nominal diameter 2.5 and this is the discharge and the suction 2.5 and here we go so now there is no problem we use this okay will not have the problem anymore let's control z but we have to take a look at on the 3d so uh, here is a problem why there is uh, an overlap between the pipe and the ducts i'm showing this to you to be careful and you must work with the other engineer if you are responsible uh, for the uh, pipe uh, piping system you have to know uh, where are the ducts to avoid this overlap so uh, it's not a problem now 
to uh, solve this problem just uh, we will delete it or uh, ignore it now okay no problem here okay it's just a tutorial and i'm showing you the basic principles okay of course you uh, must know the good things and hey, here we have the in and the out from this centrifugal pump. So this is the in. So now we uh, may need to uh, rotate them. Let's select them and rotate it. Okay, now we have here the 3D, so the, here is the inlet and here are, is the outlet, so we find here the inlet, okay, here is the inlet, okay, first, and the second, okay, no, no, cancel, and the other, okay, so now we have here three pipes, three pipes for the inlet, okay, and now we have the uh, pressure gauges and these things and the valves. Okay. So we have here we have the three three pipes. Four four hundred. Now go to systems and pipe accessory. Okay, no pipe accessories, so go to pipe and fittings, accessories, fittings, valves. We have here the all kind of valve, uh, valves, the pressure uh, regulating valves. Okay, and the fittings. Okay, and the accessories we have here the pressure gauge. You can see the pressure gauge. Click on this and enter. No, no, just double click on it to know the information. Okay, here is the pressure gauge. So this is right. We will need the pressure gauge. So this pressure gauge can be okay. I know if it couldn't find a matching transition, please check routing preferences. If you find uh, these uh, problems according to uh, the type of this uh, five, uh, 50 millimeters diameter. Or so of course you you know you can move it and the orientation is not right. Okay. We need here only three edges. Look, it is not you have to rotate it. Also, you can make it uh, edit type and know the nominal diameter 3 inches. Okay, but this is not a good solution. 
okay so go to view how to rotate it level 3 view section click here okay just go here and delete it and take another section like this and here is the uh, pressure gauge and just rotate it 90 and see what will happen 3d okay now we uh, wanna rotate it again So I uh, create out another section, go to level 3 in the ceiling and please take another section but like this. So uh, another section and go to section 2 and you will find it like this and you rotate it 90 degree, okay? like this then go to the 3d you will find it it's okay so this is how to 3d <laughs> sorry uh, it's not there is no another simple way uh, as uh, far as I know so uh, go to make this the move here Okay. If you face any problem in this, uh, please try it, or uh, you can avoid uh, using. Uh, okay, you go, go here, and I think it's not important to use the pressure gauge in Revit. The important thing in Revit is to uh, show the fittings and uh, the valves. Okay, but the other accessories, I think it's not important for you. So I'm gonna uh, skip this. I uh, just uh, wanted to show you how to uh, 3D orbit or rotate uh, something. Okay, so we have here uh, this. Now we have what? We have this, the strainer. Just go and delete these sections. I don't want them. Okay. Go to systems. Accessories. Need family. Pipe. Valves. Okay. Accessories. We'll find the strainer, threaded or flanged. It's up to you. Many pipes. Go to clear three thousand. Okay, here is the strainer. Okay, of course you will find the problem. Six millimeter. Okay, another problem, 
so edit uh, make uh, diameter three inches. So sorry, this is a gauge. Rainer. nominal diameter we want three inches okay Rainer. uh gentlemen it's just a, a simple okay A strainer and then a valve and of course we can add this uh, this is for the drainage okay Let's check it out again So here is the strainer here and here is the drain valve. Okay, you can skip it if you want or you can add it. Now uh, you can add a pipe to complete just here. Notice that you will find problem here uh, this uh, is uh, according to the uh, the increase in the height of the pipe so you can make it as it is uh, by default or you can change it if you want okay so I may delete this this according to the uh, proper installation please you have to uh, know how to do this things sorry this is not easy okay Opposite, yes. Notice that the offset is this value. So when you use this pipe, Another solution you can uh, create a pipe uh, and you have to make it uh, the same offset and so on and here we go no problem after this and we have here get valve just go to systems and here where the valves Piping, pipe, valves, get valves, and here is our get valve. Oh, there are many, okay, fifty millimeters. 
also you may change uh, change it as you like of course there are standards and I'm just showing you how to use uh, Revit to avoid this kind of problem so here we go we have here our pump and here is the gate valve and the strainer and of course you may uh, change this strainer orientation or orbit it as you like here is the top so if you do not have uh, a distance please you can move it gonna use select all these things okay go and here we go just move all these things okay we need the pressure gauge and now complete our piping from here and here is our pipe two point five sorry you uh, carried out a mistake you have two point five not three Okay, and here is 2.5, 2.5, yes, 2.5, yes. We need for all these things. Yes. Okay, now uh, we have here this uh, things to think. Of course, you can. Uh, draw the other pipes two point five inches. Okay. What we will what we're gonna do now is make a copy. Copy. From here to here. Mm, just one second, we have the other pipe. No need to uh, do the same uh, things again. Okay, because I think there is a problem here. careful so let's see what's going on every time you must check out okay just a copy you can delete it Okay, no problem. And system pipe two point five. 
copy. Okay, copy. Let's see if it's gonna work or not. No. Okay, let's delete it and get it again. Okay, and here we go. So uh, now we have uh, to get the total uh, GPM. Uh, the total GPM from the cell sheet is going to be uh, section A or the total. Any total uh, actually is going to be uh, 4 inches. And here we create a pipe 4 inches. This is the total of the, these pipes. So now uh, go to pipe 2.5. Oh, I know. Uh, check, check out this. Hmm. Okay, there's no problem here. But if it couldn't find a matching transition, okay, let's do it again. So, gentlemen, we uh, have this problem if you see here four inches and we want to connect this 2.5 should water no no connection so this is due to the type of this pipe so this is chilled water and this is chilled water okay uh, if you are sure of your uh, installation uh, just make it standard and this okay delete this and this pipe make it standard okay and make it four inches just make like this we have here standard this make it standard standard and here make the pipe 2.5 no problem so uh, the chilled water piping does not uh, or the chilled water uh, pipes uh, does not accept uh, for the Three, the three, this uh, junction, the T junction from 4 to 2.5. So if you are sure of your work, you can uh, make this solution. Make the pipe, and that's it. Find this and this. Okay. So now we have here uh, the pipe. This is the inlet of the pipe, and uh, of course you uh, have here the expansion expansion tank. But I'm not gonna uh, use it right now. Uh, so, so the uh, for the expansion tank here. Okay. So now we have to draw the exit or the outlet. So here are the inlets, and here are the Outlets. The outlets is like this. According to uh, your uh, system layout, try to do it. Also, the same. We will find the pressure gauge 
and an unreturned valve. So here is the outlet. Okay, we have here a problem. So to avoid this problem, we're gonna go to view section. And here is the pipe. Two point five. Okay, none of the credit elements. Okay, three D, and we have here the pipe without any problem. Oh, uh, you can make a copy. Okay, or you can take uh, another section to avoid this kind of problems. Yes. This is the second pipe. Okay, is a three another section. If you have any problem in uh, drawing something, just take a section to uh, reach uh, another uh, view. And here it's very important to uh, use it. Okay. Let's go to the 3D view and see. So we, and here we go. Now we do not need these sections, just delete them. Okay. Okay. We do. We do. This is the offset and okay and here the pipe common problems in Revit due to the offset. Okay, here, uh, non return valve. Okay, it's gonna be somehow not easy. So, we'll go to, uh, we wanna now uh, load a family non return valve. Uh, pipe, valve, go freeway, okay. So gentlemen, uh, generally if you do not see uh, the uh, type of the family 
you need here, I think, no non return valves. I think three way valves, pack flow, balancing, wall, check valves, <laughs> uh, many things, but I don't see non return valves. So, uh, if you want to uh, get it, so please watch this video. This uh, my family is in Revit creating a pipe accessory. You can uh, draw or design uh, your accessory by yourself and uh, Draw it so interested in using map families in Revital. This video will guide you through creating a pipe accessory in a specific size and mention that you need to assist Nazanova ball valve. Okay, so please check it out. This video is very important to know. So now we're gonna skip this right now. And okay, we have here a uh, what. Okay, we can use the strainer or the get valve, uh, the get valve. So we're gonna do the get valve again. Pump accessories. Okay, get valve here. Okay, that's it. A pipe. Okay. The same thing here. Or Okay, get valve. A pipe. Get valve. F5 Okay So here we here we go and no need for these sensors and also you will find the balancing valve Okay Balancing valve here. So go to system with family. Where mechanical mechanical MIP. Pipe, valves, balancing, or oh, the ball valve. So this is the ball valve. Just give me one minute. So ball valves, gentlemen, is the check valves, non-return valves here. Poly check and non-return, the ball valves, non-return valves. So, 
here uh, pull valves these are the pull valves and here are the non return valves okay Check valve and non return valve, mm, ball valve and non return valve. Okay, check valve the specific type of valve uh, can prevent pack flow from occurring. Okay, non return valves are similar in design to a check valve but are not able to meet the strict criteria of a check valve. Okay. So here is the ball valve. And now we wanna get valve uh, or balancing valve. Okay, balancing get angled or uh, straight. Okay, so you have to be sure. And of course, at the type we wanna the nominal diameter three. Uh, four inches or no 2.5 inches this flanged okay work family Pipe, valves, mm, balancing, okay, so we took the balancing valve and three. Thousand get it. We need the nominal diameter point five. Okay. So go to the three D just increase the length. Of this pipe this pipe is from the third floor okay so if we want to create a pipe here you have three yes okay just increase this to okay and then get your uh, valve okay and on the hammer okay also here and here Okay. Okay, now uh, we have to increase the length or add pipe, add a pipe, please. 
okay go here add another pipe yes and here I'm sorry uh, the distance these distances are uh, too small uh, so you have to be careful when you select your uh, place now we have to draw uh, the pipe the total pipe okay save now the total pipe is four inches four Yes, and it's gonna be standard. Please make the standard. Okay. Mm. And systems the pipe to entries. 2.5 inches yes okay We need the zoom. Okay, also you can go to system five or inches and increase this length to be sure that the other pipe can reach it. Okay, here is a problem and this please have patience it's really difficult so you have to just wait until it gets to reach to the uh, line I think here is another problem so control Z control Z Here we have a problem. Cancel. Try to orbit. Okay. Need to see the center. And here is the pipe. Okay. Okay, done. 
now we have the uh, outlet of this system so go here and you'll find this and this how do we know uh, we know so this is four three and here is the offset so this is the inlet and here is the outlet okay So, gentlemen, uh, now we have the inlet and the outlet. So, the outlet of the pump, this, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna now, we use this, four inches, okay, why? So, this is the outlet, now we have to, Supply the outlet of the pumps. Yeah, uh, the outlet. So okay. Here. And here are the chiller. So every chiller we have uh, three inches from the chiller. So this is the outlet of the chiller. Now we wanna the inlet. The inlet. Okay. So this is from the outlet of the pumps. The outlet from the pumps provides the chiller uh, with the uh, water. Okay. Here is four. No. Okay. Please have patience until we finish this work. So this is four inches, okay? Four. Let's check out this. And of course, uh, due to the difference in the offset, you will find this, okay? So it's okay. Now, this is the outlet of the pumps to the inlet here. Before, uh, I think here is four, and here is three. This is also four. Uh, four. And then there is used. So four inches, four inches. And here three inches. I'll delete this. I'm gonna make a T. Four. K. 
cancel this. And get five three inches. Okay. And here it will be three inches for the other chiller. Okay. Okay. Okay, it doesn't matter. Now, so we have here three inches, three inches, and three inches, and here four inches carrying the total GBM for the chillers to uh, their inlets. Okay, now the outlet of the chiller, here the outlet of this, here and we have also here the outlet okay and uh, we have the total it's four inches so pipe four inches pipe okay Here is four inches pipe. And here is the three. Let's make the connection. Okay. Here is the connection. Okay. Four inches pipe. So this four inches pipe. We go to to the inlet of the air handling unit. Okay. We may uh, decrease this. Well, the air handling unit. Okay, so the air handling unit here will carry the total for the cooling coil. Okay, we need also four inches. So we have to make it the return supply Cooling coil radius is going to be uh, 1.5 uh, inches, no, uh, 2 inches radius. And here, also, you can uh, change the grain size if you want. Okay, uh, this is for the uh, heating. We're not gonna uh, use any heating now. So, here uh, is gonna be the supply from the chiller. Get this. Notice that there is no any error messages. And this. Okay. So, so here the supply of the chillers. Now we're gonna use the return, return outlet. But you know, here is hydronic return. Also four inches and uh, 
and you have to avoid this uh, feelings as much as you can okay go here and just go here and support this so this is for the uh, inlet of the pipes yes here we go so now we have an air handling unit inlet and outlet notice this is the inlet and here is the outlet the outlet the outlet and to the uh, inlet of the uh, pump okay notice that the, the inlet of the pump here and then the outlet of the pumps and from the outlet to the pumps of the pumps to the inlet of the chillers okay very easy very simple so uh, here the inlet of the uh, pumps uh, from the air handling unit and uh, after uh, the flow uh, uh, exits from the pub, uh, three pumps uh, here are the two GBM that enters the one of the chillers and the second chillers and then uh, it exits from the chillers and here are the GBM cooled water and then enters the air handling unit and then exits from it and here is the cycle of course uh, you have to uh, do better than this uh, of course you have to uh, check out many uh, other uh, layouts and here the uh, return and uh, the supply of course we have here uh, the uh, another uh, drawing uh, this is according to the uh, design of the air handling unit you will find that the pipes uh, one is above the other okay so this is the uh, return and here is the supply uh, the inlet okay and here is the outlet from the air handling unit okay ladies and gentlemen uh, also you can find uh, another uh, system for the air handling units like the 2D the 2D is just uh, to uh, provide you with the uh, simple symbols or the simple layouts so according to uh, the real situation or realistic situation uh, or the Revit or according to the design of the chillers and the air handling units will find another category or find another technique in the design So for example, you can here see air handling on chillers uh, piping, air handling guns, you can check out all of these and also their chilled water basics in the slide share, check it out please. And here we'll find many things and cooling towers and a lot of things for mechanical pipe work and here okay the pumps the chillers and the air handling guns actually has the, the piece of work piping design is a piece of work is not easy uh, but if you practice many times you will find it very easy of course and each you and you load and chiller one two three and here are the uh, pipes okay uh, supply and return many ways to design these kind of uh, systems not chill one two three and uh, their hang unit and achieving high chilled water. Okay, okay. Uh, to sum up, uh, gentlemen, uh, first of all, you have to get the GBM to a ton uh, refrigerant to 
select uh, select the uh, chillers and please check out uh, the other my other tutorials about selecting the equipment and uh, the piping uh, piping size pipe sizing okay to uh, get this uh, schedule and then you can calculate the pump head to select the pump and uh, so on and then you can uh, draw uh, the 2D diagram uh, and try to get the best solutions and then you can apply it in Revit and please play, uh, be fix, uh, flexible with Revit and uh, you must be sure of uh, the realistic situations and uh, the methods of installations so after uh, finishing uh, this you can uh, draw uh, the system like this and uh, here uh, the worst path uh, all uh, you must get uh, the pressure drop of the worst path and add it pressure drop of the chiller and the cooling coil and other pressure drop in the system uh, in the worst path to get the pump hit uh, finally, thank you for your great patience. Uh, I hope this helps you. Uh, I know this is not uh, easy and please practice many times. And uh, the next tutorial is the ones we're gonna talk about the fan coil uh, system and their piping system. Thank you very much. Feeling dank. My name is Libby Loite.